Dominique Alexander was one of the organizers of the July 2016 anti-police brutality protest in Dallas that ended in the shooting deaths of five police officers by a lone gunman. He was one been on the protest scene since 2014 and was picked by Dallas City Manager T.C. Broadnax to be a part of a panel to evaluate police candidates. Well, guess what? Some conservatives are not too particularly happy with that, including, including that, that, that little child used to be on the blaze, uh, who uh, I don't really care about. Uh, they, and, but the Dallas City, uh, Dallas Morning News editorial came out blasting them, saying, no, voices like Dominique's need to be on the panel to question the next police chief. Dominique joins us right now. Dominique, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself, uh, Roland? I'm, I'm doing great. So, of course, you have the haters out there uh, and complaining about it, but the reality is uh, it's important. You're the founding president of the Next Generation Action Network. Uh, how has, has this process gone with you and others, uh, again, interviewing potential uh, candidates for police chief? Well, you know, it's very important. It's very important for a very diverse community. But it goes back to seeing them um, ousting me or whatever. It goes back to the racism in America because I'm the one black individual that's actually on the panel. However, in July 7th, I was just the only other black person that actually organized the July 7th, but I'm always in their mouth. And, you know, overall, um, it's very important, and the city manager of the city of Dallas thought that it was important. Got um, it. Council, so you know, uh, and the community supports it. But you know, we have a long way to go in America when it comes to the blame game. Tiffany, Dominique, let me ask you this question: Besides being the only black person on the panel, what are your intentions for the conservatives who don't want you on there, who are mad at you? What is your agenda? What are your intentions on there? Well, let me say this real quick. I would never ask the people who continue to oppress us for uh, validation on the liberation of my people. I like that answer. Thing I won't do. Uh, but at the same time, uh, our intentions is to give a voice to the community and also give the, a voice to the police officers that they could continue to support NGA and continue to give a voice um, towards these growing issues that we have in Dallas, uh, in in the city of Dallas. You know, through since July seventh. There has been a lot of different things, the the rise and fall of of, of, of our current police chief mm -hmm. and all these types of things or whatever and the, you know all those all those things. So you know the truth are out here. So we really need to get a chief of police that understands the issue, and we don't have a, a opportunity for somebody to come in here and have learning curve. We need everybody at the table. So this person, he or she, come in, um, will have the best opportunity um, to make sure that we can bring uh, the type of relationship we uh, need in the Dallas County. Dominique, we surely appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.